Okay, continuing on in exercise number two. So we have all our tangent lines created for our alignment. Now we need to come in and create our horizontal curves. We're going to do that by using the simple arc tool. We're going to create three horizontal curves along our alignment. So we're going to create one over here between these two tangents, one between this tangent and this tangent, and finally a third curve down over here between these tangents. So first thing I want to do is I want to go up to the geometry tab and go to arcs, arc between elements, and we want to find the simple arc tool. So we're going to left click on that. And notice the heads up prompt that's attached to my cursor asking me to locate the first element. So our first element is going to be down here. So I'm going to select this. Well, let's zoom in there real quick so you can see a little bit closer or clearer. So I'm going to select this tangent line. That's going to be prompting me to select my second tangent element or second element. So I'm going to select that one. And notice the heads up prompt changes and it's asking me for a radius value. So we're going to key in a 600 foot radius here for this particular curve. So on my keyboard I'm going to type in 600. I'm going to press enter to lock in that value and then I'm going to left click to accept the uh, the radius. So you can see it puts the uh, curve there temporarily until we get to our extend options here. So once we're at our extend options we want to set that for both so that it trims up the ends nicely to uh, meet meet up with the curve. So I'm going to left click to accept that and you'll see that the curve is placed. So now the next curve we want to place is going to be between this tangent and this tangent. This is going to be a fairly flat curve which with a 10,000 foot radius. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer to this one as well. And it's going to be a curve to the right so we want to make sure that it curves to the right. So let's toggle off the radius here because we don't want to use 600 again. So again, we want to locate the first element. So I'm going to come over here and select the first element. And then I'm going to select the second element. And then when we get to our, our radius here, we want to key in 10,000. Press enter on the keyboard to lock in the 10,000. And you want to make sure your mouse is on the, uh, or your cursor is on the right side of the alignment here, or the right side of the, the tangent line, so it creates the curve to the right. So I'm going to left click to accept that. We get to the trim options again. We're going to left click to uh, trim and extend both. So left click to accept that, and the curve's created there. So it's a nice little flat curve that we're creating between those tangents. Let's zoom out and take a look at creating the final curve up here. Okay, this next curve is going to have a 2,100 foot radius. So again, we're going to select our first tangent, our second tangent element. We're going to key in 2100, press enter on the keyboard to lock in the value, make sure we have our cursor over here to the left side of the alignment, and we're going to left click to accept, and trim extend option, we want both, left click to accept, to create the uh, curve. So now we have our three horizontal curves created, we have our tangent pieces created, we have all our elements created for our horizontal alignment. Now one question that comes to mind here and you may be asking yourself is what if I need to modify one of these curves that I just created and we can do that I want to show you how to do that real quick so I'm going to zoom into this first curve down here if you recall this was the 600 foot radius curve that we created and if I go up to the element selection tool and click on that I can come over here and I can select the tool and you can see the uh, the drag handle here on the uh, on the arc or the or the curve. And you also see the text manipulator here indicating the radius of that curve. So what we could do is if we click on the uh, the value here, the 600 foot radius, we can easily change that in the edit field. So I'll just go on my keyboard and key in 700 for the uh, the new radius, and then I'm going to left click to accept that, and that should change the radius for me. So now we have a 700 foot radius curve here. After we've changed this curve, let's just zoom out here a little bit and uh, review what we've done so far. So, so far we've created our tangent elements and all of our curves that are going to make up our horizontal alignment for London Road. Next thing we need to do is we need to combine these elements together to create the horizontal alignment. We're going to do that by using the complex by elements tool. 
Okay, so to get to the complex by elements tool, again on the geometry tab, under complex geometry, we're going to select complex by element. And when that happens, when you select that, you're going to see a toolbox or dialog box appear. And we want to uh, adjust some settings here once it appears. So we, the method we want to choose is automatic. Our maximum gap, we want to key in 0 0.10. And then in the name field here, we want to key in London Road because we want our alignment to be called London Road. Okay. And also notice on the uh, your cursor, the heads up prompt is asking you to locate the first element of your alignment. So the first element is going to be our first tangent line that we, we created. Now notice when you uh, go down here to and you hover your cursor over the, over the element, you're going to see a directional arrow that appears on the element. This is going to be the direction that the uh, the alignment is going to be created. So you have to be careful when you're doing this because depending on where you pick on the element could change the direction of how the alignment is created. So I'm going to make sure we pick somewhere near the, the beginning of the element. If you pick somewhere near the end, then the uh, directional arrow is going to change and it's going to go the wrong direction. So let's make sure we pick near the beginning of the alignment. And since we have it set for automatic, what it's going to do is it's automatically going to try and connect all those elements up. So I'm going to select this tangent line. It will select all those elements showing you that they all connect up. And then we want to left click to accept it to create our London Road horizontal alignment. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.